Hello and welcome to Open SAP course SAP Master Data Integration in the Intelligent Enterprise. This is week 3, unit 4, a hands on session on how to set up SAP S4 HANA for SAP Master Data Integration with SOAP. My name is Reema Bora and I am a developer at SAP. I will be guiding you through this unit. Let's get started with this session. In this hands on unit, we cover the configurations and steps to be followed to replicate a business partner via SOAP interfaces from a SAP S4 HANA client to SAP Master Data Integration and then get it dis distributed to a connected system. The steps required to set up business partner integration with SAP S4 HANA system comprises of three main steps. First, the SOA manager setup. Second, the cloud connector setup and third, the data replication framework setup. After these integration steps are complete, the next step would be to create a business partner in the S4 HANA system, initiate it, its replication and monitor the replication via the web service monitor. Lastly, we will verify whether the business partner got replicated to MDI and subsequently distributed to the connected system. Before we start with the demo, let us get a brief idea about the steps involved. First is the SOA Manager Setup. The steps involved in SOA Manager Setup comprises of six main units. First is the retrieval of visitor and altering them to include MDI endpoints. Second, configuring MDI system access. Third, configuring MDI as third party provider system. Fourth, the lock on management. Fifth, configuring local in integration scenario. And sixth, creating SOAP endpoint to receive business partner and key mapping data from SAP MDI. The steps to configure SOA manager for successful integration with SAP master data integration are provided in detail in the documentation link at the end of this unit. Please refer that link for a step-by-step -step guide. Next, we come to the Cloud Connector Setup. The Cloud Connector serves as a link between SAP BTP applications and on-premise systems. It combines an easy setup with a clear configuration of the systems that are exposed to SAP BTP. There are two major steps involved in this setup. The first step is the system mapping in Cloud Connector for a valid host by providing the following values, the backend type, the protocol, internal host and internal port. Second setup step is resources for a valid host in Cloud Connector. Here we specify the URL path and the access policy. The steps to configure Cloud Connector with SAP Master Data Integration are provided in the documentation link at the end of this unit. Please refer it for a step-by-step -step guide. Next, we move on to the data replication framework. In SAP S4 HANA, the data replication framework is used to invoke the SOAP services. It is important to note that the business system value that is used in DRF customizing should be the same as the SAP Master Data Integration business system value in the generic configuration setup. In DRF, there are two major setup steps involved. First is defining the technical settings for business system and second is defining the replication model. The transaction name in SAP S4 HANA system to initiate DRF is DRF IMG. So the first step in DRF is defining technical settings for business system. In this customizing activity, we can connect business systems to technical implementations, define available communication channels and configure pooled or direct replication methods. The second step is defining the replication model. In this customizing activity, we can define the replication model along with specifying the outbound implementations to be used for each replication model. Now the integration steps in SAP S4 HANA are covered. We are ready to create a BP and initiate its replication. How to create a BP in SAP S4 HANA will be covered in the demo to be followed. 
we will create a sample business partner in SAP S4 HANA system with basic details and initiate its replication via DRF. Next step would be to monitor the business partner replication. In SAP S4 HANA, replication status can be tracked via web service utilities message monitor. We can monitor the processing state of asynchronous web service messages via this monitor. The transaction name in SAP S4 HANA for initiating this monitoring service is SRT underscore money. Moving on, we can now verify whether the business partner got replicated to SAP Master Data Integration Service using the Events API. This API is covered in detail in week 1, Unit 7. A sample Events API request URL to retrieve replicated business partner is provided. We will use the client ID and client secret from the MDI instance created for SAP S4 HANA system to obtain a valid access token and retrieve the business partner. Next is how to verify that the business partner got distributed to a connected system. In this demo, our connected system is an SAP S4 HANA cloud client. To distribute the business partner sent from SAP S4 HANA to a connected SAP S4 HANA cloud system via MDI, we need the following prerequisites. First is a push-based master data orchestration model for MDI SOAP business partner interface. Second, a business partner outbound destination in BTP for SAP S4 HANA cloud. And third, the SAP S4 HANA cloud setup for integration with MDI. All these three steps have been covered in detail in the previous units. We are now ready to have a deep dive look via a step-by-step -step demo. We shall now start with the demo on how to set up SAP S4 HANA system with master data integration service via SOAP interfaces. So I have logged in to my SAP S4 HANA system. The first step is to integrate our SAP S4 HANA client with SAP Master Data Integration. For this, as already mentioned in this unit previously, that we need to perform certain integration steps via the SOA Manager, the Data Replication Framework, and the Cloud Connector. I will give a brief walkthrough of, of this integration steps. Please follow the guide for a step-by-step description on how to configure it end to end. Let us first launch our SOA manager dashboard. So we have logged into the SOA management dashboard and the first step is to upload the visual files. Here I have already uploaded and kept them ready. As per the setup guide, I have configured the URLs in these visual files to point to our connected tenant in BTP. Let me show you an example. This is a business partner application confirmation out pistol. And for this pistol under the SOAP address location, I have configured the one MDS URL followed by the business partner V0 SOAP and the tenant ID. We do something similar for all the six pistols and upload them. The scope back. Next is under technical administration, we set up a MDI profile. So click on profile section. You can see I have already created a profile called MDI demo. Click on create profile to create a new profile for yourself. 
under MDI demo, I have selected authentic authentication method as user ID and password. And follow the fo remaining steps in the setup guide. Next is the provider systems setup. Here you can see that I have set up a system called MDI demo. When you create a new provider system under the general section, please ensure that the name is same as the business system value configured in the data replication framework setup to avoid any kind of issue while integration. The next step is a logon data management, which we go to the service administration tab and click on logon data management. I have already created an entry with valid name and description. Call MDI in INTG demo. In the credentials section under authentication method, select user slash password option. The username is the client ID from the service key of master data integration service created for this SAP S4 HANA client. And the client secret is the password. Please ensure that the service instance is generated using the correct business system ID parameter to activate this logon. Follow the remaining setup steps and our SOA manager setup will be complete. Next, let's dive into the data replication framework customizing. For that, launch the transaction DRF IMG. Click on define custom settings for data replication. Next, click on define technical settings. And then define technical settings for business systems. Here you can see I have added a business system for our MDI user. It is recommended to use a subdomain name for both business system value and the configuration value. The subdomain name can be found in the sub account overview in SAP BTP cockpit. Please note that the business system value and the configuration value defined in the generic configuration setup step should always be the same. So under the defined business systems, let us now go back and click on define replication models. I have already defined a replication model called MDI underscore BP. Select this replication model to assign target systems for replication. Here under the outbound implementation provide 986 underscore three. This is the outbound implementation for business partner relationship and business partner services. You can assign outbound parameters like the outbound parameter value of packet size. And after all the necessary values are provided, don't forget to activate your model. The last step in this integration scenario is the cloud connector setup. For the cloud connector setup, log into your cloud connector administration tab here I have already logged in. Let me refresh my login. Okay. 
Okay. So you can see this option called add sub account. Using this option, you will add the BTP sub account that you'll be using to integrate MDI with. Under region, provide the region in which your sub account is available. There are many options to choose from. In our case, it is a Frankfurt Canary. Under sub account, provide the sub account ID that you is available in the overview section of your BTP sub account. A suitable display name and the sub account user and password with which you use to log in into the BTP account as well. Click on save and a new sub account will be added. Here I have already added and kept it ready. Once the sub account is added, you can see it appear on the left hand side of this panel. Click on cloud to on-premise section for this. And here you will see there are two steps involved. One is mapping virtual to internal system and the resources for that system. Under mapping virtual to internal system, click on this plus button to add a new virtual host and the port. This host and port information will be available in your SAP S4 HANA system. Add it using the correct HTTPS protocol and you can see the status, it says reachable. And the resources of the same host, under URL path, provide a forward slash, followed by selecting path and all subparts options under access policy, save it, and your cloud connector setup on the cloud connector admin is done. The next part of this setup is ensuring that this account got added your BTP sub account as well. So here I am in SAP BTP cockpit. Under cloud connectors, you will see a new connected status showing the host and the port that you just added in the CC admin dashboard. Our integration steps are complete here. We are now ready to replicate a business partner. Go back to your SAP S4 HANA system. launch the BP transaction and create a business partner. I am creating a business partner of type organization. Save this business partner and note down its number. We will need this business partner number when initiating the replication. So let's launch a DRF out. Under the replication model options, select the replication model that we just created. Click on manual replication filter criteria under business partner, provide the business partner number that we just created. Save this and execute it. You can see that the message status is green, which means our outbound implementation to MDI is successful. You can monitor the same via the web services utility monitor. Let me refresh this page. Message number three and four are the latest messages that we received and we sent. So let's look at the first message, which is the business partner replicate. 
Here you can see that the sender business system ID is our SAP S4 HANA client and the recipient is our MDI instance. Business partner number is 100393, which is the one that we just created. If you wish to view the details, you can click on original XML to view the entire XML outbound message. The second message that we received is from MDI. It says we have received a confirmation from MDI saying that the business partner 100393 is created. Here in this case, the sender is our MDI tenant and the recipient is the SAP S4 HANA client. To receive this confirmation after the cloud connector setup, you should also set up the related destination. In this case, here you can see this is the SAP S4 HANA client ID followed by the string underscore BP confirm where I have Configure the endpoint to receive confirmations and maintain this configuration. This ensures that MDI always sends a confirmation back to the sender, acknowledging that the business partner was successfully created. Let us now verify the same in our MDI via the events API. We shall take the latest Delta token, append it in our parameters. And under authorization, we use the client ID secret of the SAP S4 HANA instance that we created in BTP. And you can see that our business partner has reached MDI successfully. For the part that involves distributing this business partner to a connected client, we have taken SAP S4 HANA Cloud as the connected client. And to achieve that replication, we have to also maintain a master data orchestration model in BTP. Let's go back to our sub account. Let's go to instances and subscriptions and launch the master data orchestration Fury app. Click on Manage Distribution Model. And here you can see that I have maintained a push based model to SAP S4 HANA Cloud. The mode as push, the interface as MDI SOAP Business Partner version 2.1.1. Provider destination as SAP Master Data Integration and consumer destination as the SAP S4 HANA Cloud Client. Activate this model. Since this model was already activated for us, it means that the business partner that got replicated from our SAP S4 HANA on-premise system should have already been distributed to this connected client. We can ensure this by checking it in our SAP S4 HANA Cloud Client. So under Manage Business Partner Master, we go Manage Business, Pas Business Partner Master Data.
and search for our business partner here. See, this is the business partner which got replicated to SAP S4 HANA Cloud as well. The business partner number, of course, varies since this is got, this got adopted in this a new system. You can get this verified same on the master data integration side as well under the events API results that we just got under local ID section. The tenant which says the SAP S4 HANA cloud client ID with the local ID of that business partner as well. So we have successfully completed this integration where we were able to create a business partner in SAP S4 HANA, get it replicated to MDI and then further get it distributed to SAP S4 HANA cloud client. You now know the steps involved to integrate SAP S4 HANA with MDI. And if you're interested to know how to set up SAP S4 HANA cloud with MDI, please follow the previous units from this week's sessions. It contains a demo there as well. So we have now come to the end of the demo. In this demo, you now know how to set up SAP S4 HANA for SAP Master Data Integration, how to create a business partner and replicate it via DRF to Master Data Integration. We also saw how the same business partner can be replicated to SAP S4 HANA cloud client as well. We are now at the end of this unit. Here are some documentation links provided, which will help you in the setup of the SAP S4 HANA system. If you also are interested to learn how to set up SAP S4 HANA cloud client for the distribution scenario explained here, please refer to week three, unit two hands-on demo session. Thank you for patiently listening. See you in the next session.